I've been making interactive work for over 15 years now. Um, and all of the work is similar in a sense that it engages a group. It's not just for one person. It's a, a group can sort of um, participate in it. And the work is also very architectural in a sense that it either integrates with existing architecture or it's, it's so large that it is its own space. I was actually really inspired by the building. There was this center atrium area, and I thought it'd be really interesting to create a piece of interactive light art that would really connect the lower floor and the next floor and create this dynamic sort of center. I also thought it'd be interesting to sort of spread out that work throughout the rest of the building and really be able to bring people through and create a kind of connected art experience. The work is always fairly challenging from an engineering perspective because we're really building all of the tools for the work. Every single piece actually of each one of these light fixtures is really sort of created by my team. There are very, very low um, voltage range finders that sense distance. There are um, XP radios that use a radio um, protocol to communicate. So all of these tubes communicate with their neighbors. It takes a long time <laughs> um, to build something like this. I mean, it's, it, there's a lot of detail work. This piece will capture people as they're moving underneath it. Um, and as you're moving, it will actually mirror the heights um, that are moving underneath it. If you stop, however, you can start to actually play with the piece. And you can bounce light up and down and actually control it with your hands. I was really interested in the idea of um, creating a participatory experience and allowing people to really come in and be part of the work. And for me, technology provides the medium that allows me to do that with artwork. I would hope that they just have a moment um, that's a little, that's playful and joy, joyous. To me, um, if that can happen, then it's been a great success. And right now, there are several different color palettes that it um, will do. And there are some color palettes in there that are specific, actually. Um, well, all the colors are specific to the university, but there are some that are very specific to the university, but we're gonna allow the students to discover them.